नमस्कार सर्वान आजा भागा मधे स्वागत है टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिबाई हकेल ऑन सागर इंटर आयोनिक एट्रैक्शन थीअरी ओके दिस थीअरी इज अबाउट डिसोसिएशन ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एंड इक्विवल कंडक्टन्स ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट हाउ इक्विवल कंडक्टन्स चेंजेस विथ डायल्यूशन और कॉन्सेंट्रेशन is explained by this inter ionic attraction theory okay in previous session we have seen the arrhenius theory of electrolytic dissociation explains the variation of conductance with concentration of weak electrolyte and this theory explain the variation of conductance with concentration of strong electrolyte so in this theory we have two major concept asymmetry effect or relaxation effect and second effect is electrophoretic effect so let us see one by one each effect <clears throat> now the interionic attraction theory gives the better explanation for the variation of conductance with concentration for the aqueous solution of strong electrolyte in this theory it assumes that in dilutes aqueous solution of strong electrolyte the dissociation of strong electrolyte is complete and the interionic attractive forces plays a major role in determination of conductance so look at this word interionic attractive forces you will understand this with couple of seconds it within couple of seconds now in case of weak electrolyte the equivalent conductance decreases decreases with increase in concentration that we have seen in, in our previous sessions okay so this is because why this happens why equivalent conductance decreases with increase in concentration because the number of molecules per unit area increases okay number of molecules or number of ions per unit area increases due to this it reduces the dissociation of weak electrolyte but this case is not true with the strong electrolyte so as we know strong electrolyte means the electrolyte which dissociates completely that is 100% dissociation we call this as strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte a partial dissociation so in dilute solution the strong electrolyte is completely dissociate dissociated as well as in concentrated solution strong electrolyte is also completely dissociated dissociated <clears throat> this case is not true with the weak electrolyte in case of strong electrolyte due to interionic attractive forces the ionic velocity decreases with increase in concentration okay i repeat okay due to interionic attractive forces the ionic velocity decreases with increase in concentration of the solution and hence the equivalent conductance decreases this is explained on the basis of two effects asymmetry or relaxation effect and photoelectric effect now what is meaning, what is a asymmetry or relaxation effect so let us understand as we know the strong electrolyte dissociates completely into the ions such as cations and the anions in solutions there are two types of forces which operates between the ions okay attractive forces and repulsive forces attractive forces these are the forces between cation and anion or anion and cation and repulsive forces between similar ions such as cation cation or anion anion now due to these two kind of forces attractive as well as repulsive forces in the solution each cation is surrounded by anions and each anion is surrounded by cations means each ion is surrounded by oppositely charged ions and thus each ions are said to be surrounded by oppositely charged ionic atmosphere so in absence of electric field the ionic atmosphere is symmetric in nature okay you will understand with the help of diagram now look at this diagram so left hand diagram so this is the ionic atmosphere okay central ion okay this uh, this is the positive cation and this cation is surrounded by the cloud of anions 
and this is called as ionic atmosphere this hole is called as the ionic atmosphere so this ionic atmosphere is symmetric symmetric in nature in absence of the electric field now when we apply the electric field <coughs> what happens okay these are the negative pole and this is positive pole of the electric field so when we apply the electric field what will happen this positive charge will try to migrate towards the negative plate this positive charge will try to migrate towards the negative plate and whereas this negative anionic cloud will try to migrate towards the positive plate this negative anionic cloud will try to migrate towards the positive plates right so this cloud symmetric nature of the ionic atmosphere gets disturbed and it becomes asymmetric in nature so this is the asymmetric ionic atmosphere okay now here this is the overall negative charge or uh, overall density of the anions and this density of anion will pull this cation backwards okay so that its mobility in the solution will gets reduced or slow down okay due to this the conductance of strong electrolyte slows down okay in this case okay if the concentration is more so in absence of electric field this ionic atmosphere is symmetric in nature whereas when electric field is applied the ionic clouds get disturbed the central cation will move towards the negative plate and anion will move towards the positive plate this disturbed ionic atmosphere is asymmetric in nature now the heavy density of anion will pulls the cations towards themselves which results in slowing down the ionic velocity of the cation and it is similar for anion also so here we can replace the anion and this anion will be surrounded by then the cations okay. this case is both true with the both ions and this effect is called as asymmetry effect or a, or relaxation effect now relaxation effect means what okay if i remove this electric field then what will happen again the symmetric nature will become the asymmetric in nature okay symmetric uh, this asymmetry will again transform into the symmetrical structure and it will need, it will need time and this time is called as relaxation time okay regaining or reforming the symmetric ionic atmosphere from asymmetric ionic atmosphere is called as relaxation and this effect is called as the relaxation effect so because of this asymmetry effect or the relaxation effect the ionic mobility of the ions decreases in the solution therefore the strong in case of the strong electrolyte equivalent conductance decreases with increase in concentration and this is because asymmetry effect or the relaxation effect second aspect is <coughs> electrophoretic effect now what is meant by electrophoresis electro means electricity for phoresis means movement okay so this is our strong electrolyte when we prepare its aqueous solution that is it will interact with the water and it will form aqueous solution aqueous of the cation and aqueous the anions okay these are the solvated cations and solvated anion okay let's say okay this is the cation and this cation is get surrounded by the oh minus ions this is h2o will split into h plus ions and oh minus ions and this is the solvated anion this anion will get solvated by hydrogen ions h plus ions so let's say this is called as hydrated cation and this is the hydrated anion now i will uh, show hydrated cation with this red circle and hydrated anion with this black circle okay so now imagine that you have the solution and which is filled with the hydrated anion just imagine here uh, for time being i have i am not showing the hydrated cation both are present okay here now this is our hydrated cation and when we apply the electric field then what will happen this cation will try to move towards the negative plate and this anion will move in the opposite direction of the uh, cation okay they will move towards the positive plates 
Now look at here, the, these are the heavy density of hydrated anions, heavy density of hydrated anion and this our hydrated cation need to uh, go through this path, zigzag path, okay, it will strike and it will make its path and it will reach to the anion such as like this motion. So it will reach towards the negative plate of the electric field. Now this due to this heavy density, this movement of hydrated iron is slowed down. Okay, it become slower and this okay, this motion, this uh, reduction in the motion is called as the electrophoretic effect or we can uh, say that the effect which slows down the uh, movement of the ions or the effect which slows down the ionic velocity of the ions then this effect is called as the electrophoretic effect so there are two effects first is the asymmetry effect and this electrophoretic effects so with the help of these two effect the uh, interionic attraction theory can explain the variation of equivalent conductance with concentration for the strong electrolytes so if you have any questions then please uh, give your question in the chat box so thank you for watching this session